Our next poet is Bernice Lever, and she is coming from Bowen Island. Uh, Bernice Lever ha has, is a uh, prolific poet. Uh, she has um, about eight, nine uh, poetry books so far published, uh, nine or ten maybe. And um, she has been uh, in, involved with many uh, writers and, and poetry groups, uh, including the Canadian uh, Writers Association. Now she is the Vice President of Vancouver Takeover Society. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Barney Slaver. Well, thank you. <clears throat> I suppose this is a kind of <clears throat> personal reaction to uh, the things I've learned since I retired back to my home province and was able to meet uh, the Tagore Poetry Society and many of the wonderful uh, talented groups that we have here in the southern part of BC. Uh, so I've written a sort of short prose poem my missing teacher, Rabindranath Tagore. Only in my sixth decade did I discover the wealth of the Tagore legacy. Today his poetic songs sing like warm spring rains, like magical lotus blossoms to soften my winter heart. How I long to sit in his quiet garden, listening to his golden voice, yet knowing I cannot hear all the hundreds of his works, even the many that are now translated, or see all his plays or all his artwork. So much beauty and talent from the mind and hands of one great man. His wisdom lights the way to peace in our war-addicted world, shining the way to nonviolence via justice and acceptance to each other all around the globe, even protecting all living creatures, all life forms. Tagore teaches me to have an attitude of gratitude, willing all to bow in wonder at this gift of life, our world that we share. However sad or fearful we may be, by the many lost souls who think that destruction and killing is the way to life, we have Tagore's uplifting prayers. For example, in danger, O oh, deliver me, asking for strength to persevere against all evil. We have his wise, leadership, to have faith and to strive for positive goals until all believe in hope, peace, and love. And so I tell my family and friends, you can tell a sainted leader by his followers. So look around you, especially at those taking part in this richly varied program tonight. Tagore followers are beautiful, peaceful, and loving people. Thank you all.